Well, I've been a member for over 30 years of the Planetary Society. Uh, the former executive director, Lou Friedman, and I were good colleagues. I met Carl, met Bruce uh, in that same time period, got involved in the society's dealings with their Soviet counterparts. Very vivid memory of talking about society business with Roald and Lou on the Big Island in Hawaii in the surf kind of up, up to our waist in water, but talking about U.S.-Soviet space issues, which is kind of an image that has stayed with me. I think the society in the 80s was a prime mover in convincing the government, U.S. government, to resume cooperative relationships with the Soviet Union. We did the space bridge. This was an attempt to restore uh, the dialogue between the two major space powers. And I'm told it led to Gorbachev walking through Red Square with Ronald Reagan at their summit meeting talking about going to Mars together. For the members of the society, it's keeping the dream alive. The uh, Planetary Society is broadening its work into education, into public outreach, and recognizing the Earth as a planet too. And so worrying about stewardship of the Earth as well as the excitement of exploring the planets. Extending human activity into the solar system and beyond, this is exploration at its purest. I've, I've had a long time connection to JPL, and I was out here in the late 80s when Voyager 2 first flew by Uranus and then Neptune in 89. And gee, I remember Ed Stone coming out of, of, of the building and saying, God, you couldn't imagine what we're seeing. I mean, that's discovery as it happens. And to be part of that, and the society has been part of that, I think it's great.